What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to today's video where we have another epic challenge. We are going to take the Boxer Giants and the Bombers within the Builder Base and face them off with the Giants and Wizards in the home base to see which one comes out on top. What do you think guys? Make sure to leave me comments down in the comment section of which strategy you think will win this challenge. I'm guessing we're going to match in the Builders Hall against a mid-level Builder Hall 5. So we'll go for a mid-level Town Hall 10 here in the main base. Let's go ahead and start off with the main base. Try and find a mid-level Town Hall 10 whilst we are explaining the rules. So this one actually doesn't look too bad on the first search. What we're going to do is take one of the heroes. So we have the Barbarian King here with us. Because we only have the Battle Machine in the Builders base, we'll use one strategy first, so we're going in here with the Giants and Wizards, and then we'll flip across to the Giants and Bombers, find out which strategy wins, and the losing strategy will have another shot at taking the crown. Here we are then guys, make sure to leave a like on the video if you do enjoy it, and make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Just trying to work out where I want to attack from here to try and maximize percent. Obviously if we're going for the two star, you can see the town hall up towards the north here, so we kind of want to start coming in from that direction. I think what we're going to try and do is create a little bit of a funnel here just before we put the second jump spell in, but it's going to be difficult just because these buildings are a couple deep. So here we are with a couple of giants at the top, followed by a few wizards, couple on this side with a few wizards. Let's hope there's not a giant bomb anyway. And then once we have some of these buildings down, let's go ahead and put a jump spell in the middle. Plenty of giants along with the king, and let's finish it off with the wizards. Going to save a couple of wizards as well. Oh no, there's that giant bomb, so let's get the heal spell in. Make sure we keep them troops alive, and then we will rage them forward towards the core here. Lots of giants going into the middle, so I have the rage spell in. Let's see if we can get both of these infernos. Yes, we do with that freeze spell. That is very nicely done. And as the troops move forward, the wizards are locked onto the lava hound here, so that is not good, guys. Plenty of wizards and giants going around the bottom. Let's see if we can get any free snipes in order to help with percent because this is not looking good for the two star. Tried to push in too quick and we've lost a lot of the giants. We can maybe get wizards down in the bottom here as well. But unfortunately, I think the giants and wizards here in the home base aren't even going to get the 50%. That is the difficulty with the giant and wizard strategy. Maybe this wasn't the best base to hit because them defenses were that extra layer deep and it was a little bit harder to make the funnel. Wizards getting locked onto the Lava Hound didn't help either, but we finish off here with 40%. So the Giants and Bombers in the Builder Base only have to beat that margin. Let's go ahead and cook up another army just in case, but moving over to the Builder Base, what do you think, guys? I think the Giants and Bombers have got a pretty good shot here. Now, the only difficulty is we cannot rematch. We have to attack the first base that we see. So, let's get into this, get the Clock Tower boosted, and find a base. Now, what do you know? It is a mid-level Builder Hall 5. So, just checking this out now. We have the Crusher at the top here. We obviously want to try and avoid that with the Giants. So, I'm thinking we want to try and come in from the bottom here. Plenty of buildings on the outside in order to try and help steer our troops around the side. That obviously won't affect the Giants. What I think we're going to do here is bring a bomber in from the bottom. Maybe one here as well to get a good smash onto this wall so that the Giants won't walk around the side. I think we're going to then bring the battle machine to try and do a little bit of walking around the side. Let's bring a couple of bombers just to help him. Bomber at the top here, and then let's fly the Giants in. They're coming into the middle. Now, the unfortunate thing is there we are. We're going to hit plenty of traps along the way. Now, that push trap was actually a little bit of a flaw within this base because it pushed a Giant forward in order to set off some of the other traps. So, the multi mortar has gone down super quick. Giants in there smashing on these cannons making sure the double cannon is distracted as well for our battle machine we're already heading up to that 40 percent so there we are guys the giants and bombers win this strategy so far so we'll have to take the wizards and see if they can come back into this one looks like we're only going to get the one star though there's plenty of bombers doing damage getting close to 60 percent here oh we have three bombers they're about to get onto the builders hall yes there it is guys 
two star and they have smashed this check it out 75 percent if you placed in the comments giants and bombers then you have had a very good guess there, 75%. I think that was fantastic for the Giants and Bombers. Gets us the victory as well, so that was very nice. Let's head back across to the main base, though. We're going to have to get our King healed and ready to go if we have any chance here of the Giants and Wizards coming back. Come on, buddies. You can do this. So let's get out. Let's find another mid-level Town Hall 10 to hopefully give these guys a little bit of a better shot. Now, depending on whether these put up a bit of a fight, I think the Giants and Bombers had a pretty easy run there. We might even go back and just double check with the Giants and Bombers if they can indeed retain that two stars or whether they fall to the one star. So this looks like a pretty good base for us. We have, again, mid-level Town Hall 10, bit of a more centralised um, Town Hall, but we should be able to make a funnel a little bit easier with this. We do have Inferno Towers at the back. I think what we're going to try and do is come in from the bottom here. Let's go ahead. Oh no, we have a lightning spell instead of a freeze spell. Let's go ahead and just smash that in the core to begin with. Not a great start. I am definitely not doing justice here. But can the Giants and Wizards overcome that? Plenty of Wizards in behind the Giants here. Just a bit of fun this episode, obviously. Not meant to be any sort of serious comparison. Oh! Wizards go right the way down to the giant bomb there. We need to make sure we have plenty saved as well. So let's go ahead and get a jump spell in alongside the king as he starts to tank. A few more giants here and then let's sprinkle in the wet rest of the wizards. There's another giant bomb but we just about saved the wizards. Let's go ahead and get the rage spell in alongside the heal spell. We want this in nice and early out of the way of them infernal towers. They're moving forward quite nicely here towards the town hall getting the poison spell on the enemy king and any of them skeletons the wizards have a good shot here at the town hall they're pretty much onto it a good chunk of them there get the town hall but we are only on 30 percent guys that is not good couple of buildings on the outside we can get but it doesn't look like we're going to get the two star maybe if i had the freeze spell instead of instead of that lightning spell we could have froze a lot of the core, but we still need a 10%, guys. So there you have it. If you said the Giants and Bombers from the Builder Base, you were indeed correct. Let's go ahead and showcase another attack from our champions, the Giants and Bombers. We do need to do a couple of other attacks here to utilize our Clock Tower. Now, checking out this one again, it is a mid-level Builder Hall 5. This one looks a little bit trickier. Now the Crusher is at the bottom, we probably don't want to come in from this angle, however at the top, this is definitely set up to try and force us to come in from the top, but 99% of the time that is not what you want to do guys, so what I think we're going to do here is bring the Battle Machine in at the top, out of the way of any of the defences so he can get a little bit of percent. Then what we'll do is bring a giant in onto this double cannon. That did not go well. He got flung, guys. But hopefully, we can get that down with the bombers. There it goes. Let's get a giant in towards the firecracker here as well. Spread the giants around, followed by the bombers. That is it, guys. We are all in. There was a building at the side here that we could have got. But really, all we need to beat is the 40% one star to ensure that the giants and bombers are the ultimate champions. Now, at the minute... It's not necessarily going too great. We're on to 26%. Still plenty of bombers up. However, the giants are all down. The battle machine is going down. We need these defenses down quickly. It's not going to happen for the bombers, guys. Only 36%, 39% we're up to. There's one out of the way here. Check that out. He's going to get locked onto by the multi-mortar. Oh, he has this fraction of health, but it's not going to be enough only 39 percent guys so there you have it not so victorious in this second battle let's go ahead how on earth did we win that battle seriously 39 percent zero star let's see if we can do them a little bit more ju justice we are calling them the champions here definitely a base here to come in from the north maybe even from one of the sides here definitely a tricky base a one that i would probably hit with mass barbarians to be honest plenty of percent on the bottom here but hey, let's just go ahead and do this. Let's get a couple of bombers in with that one giant in order to tank. Another giant will then continue to tank here for the bombers. Let's go ahead and get them in alongside the battle machine, just flying everything in here. Bombers, hopefully they won't be attracted too much to the walls. We created a little bit 
of a funnel with the walls so that the bombers here will be drawn into the base getting hit by the multi mortar though so that is not great onto 17 percent battle machine onto the builders hall that is going to go down very very soon along with that double cannon and there we are guys one star can we get to the 50 percent we still have a couple of giants moving forward but the bombers are going down quick doesn't look like we're going to get the two star here it just whether we can get above the 40 percent so we have a little bomber at the top here which is doing work unfortunately didn't get that archer tower if this bomber turns to the right and goes over to these free buildings then we have a shot unfortunately he's moving ever so closer to that archer tower i think he's going to turn towards it guys and then get hit but there we are he's still out of range we're on to the 42 percent now and he's going to get a couple of extra buildings here going to definitely turn down to the bottom so i think we might get the two star again here for the giants and bombers not a brilliant display of strategy here but as you can see just a bit of fun i thought it would be quite nice to verse off these two troops because the giants and the bombers is actually a viable strategy within the builder base and the giants and wizards you can kind of use lower down in the levels however once you start getting up you do have them inferno towers it becomes increasingly difficult in order to use it as a viable strategy check out this epic bomber i mean he has smashed this base from the 40 percent to this two star there you are buddy and he's going to continue going around doing work for us and hopefully get us close to the 60 percent here He's absolutely smashing this base. If that long range, uh, short range archer tower, sorry, had gone down, he'd have got even more because with the cannon at the back, he would have got a lot of percent. So check out our spectator coming in. Oh, that little bomb took us out. Will we get the victory though, guys? We'll just have to wait and see. There it is. Victory again for the Giants and Bombers. I think they are certainly the heroes and the winners within this video guys i hope you did enjoy it just a bit of fun there challenging off the giants and wizards versus the giants and bombers and pretty much a clear victor make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy it and make sure to subscribe for more clash of clans i've been your host judo sloth and until next time peace out guys stay tuned for more clash of clans